years ago, you would never have caught me dead in any Prius. Doesn't matter what version it was, you wouldn't have caught me dead in one. Fast forward to today, I am the proud owner of a 2013 Prius V that I am absolutely crazy about. It has exceeded all my expectations, so I was given the opportunity to swap out the aging nickel metal hydride battery. And when I say aging, I'm not talking about it's actually failing. Uh, after running a test through the Dr. Prius app, the life expectancy percentage was 63%, so it was doing pretty good for 8 years old. Aging, as in technology-wise. Nickel metal hydride has been around for a very long time and it is very trusted, I get that. However, it is time for a fresh face. I plan to keep this car for a very long time, uh, hopefully long enough to where at least my kids will be able to drive it someday. So why not breathe new life into this Prius by changing out that nickel metal hydride battery pack and upgrading to a lithium polymer. So, I decided to make a video of the steps it took for me to change out said battery pack. It's not as bad as you think. Before we get too far into it though, a big shout out to Pete the Hybrid Guy. There's a link in the description below for his channel. If you want to know anything about Pre-I, modifications, general maintenance, go ahead and check his channel out. He's been a big help with even making my video. He's made a video swapping out the battery as well. So now you've got twice of the video action of getting these battery packs in the back of these Priuses. Pre-I. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the action. We're going to start right into it. This is my personal 2013 Prius V. All right, let's get right into it. Just disassembling the uh, rear of the Prius V is pretty easy. Start out with the carpet if you have so equipped. And take out the main plastic top cover, two side covers, and of course the little privacy shade, still have it, the bins, and you'll see the back end of the battery. Pull out the safety plug in this manner, keep that for later. Time to disengage the 12 volt auxiliary battery. takes a 10 mil socket or wrench. So if it's 10 millimeters, you'll be fine. Next, you use that same 10 mil socket to remove the top cover over the battery. It's the only bolt that holds in the uh, plastic. It's kind of weird and not very symmetrical, but whatever. It's easy. Don't lose it though. The cover just pops up. Just release it. It's a little plastic clip. Pop it up to reveal the battery. First thing I want to do is remove the exhaust for the air circuit here. Just a little push pin. Just comes right out. Next, three connectors. It's actually there are only three connectors on this entire battery setup. I used a small flathead screwdriver because I couldn't really push in the release tab with my finger. It's very hard to do. So, flathead screwdriver it is. You're going to need to use the same safety orange plug to release these safety plugs on the battery as well. Just a Christmas tree kind of connection here. You just move that out of the way. I removed it entirely just for filming. You do not have to remove it fully. Next up, these four bolts to reveal the high voltage cables. Number three, and number four. Voila! High voltage cables. It's always a good idea to test your volt ohm meter to make sure it's working properly, so I decided to test it out on the auxiliary battery. 12.78 volts. Pretty steady. Still good. It's actually fairly new, so it should be good. Now go ahead and test your high voltage cables. It should be zero. 
If it is not zero, you might have to wait a while. Moving on to more of these connectors or wire harness holders. This push style, it's got two tabs on the top and bottom of it. You just kind of push it out of the way. Just make sure the cable's out of the way. This one's a little bit trickier to get to. It's kind of low into the side of the uh, vent fan, but the same same process applies. Just push in one of the tabs and just pull up. This is another Christmas tree for that main harness for the high voltage cables. And just pry it away. Another 10 millimeter bolt here, or 10 millimeter nut here, and 10 millimeter nut here for the high voltage cables they are released. Sorry about the lighting. It got dark on me really fast. I'm not working in a garage. Just in my driveway. I put these two nuts back on the uh, post here just so I keep those from getting lost. Next up is now the mounting bolts for the battery pack. These are 12 millimeters. We've got two in the front of the battery pack on the passenger side, two on the driver's side, two in the very back. We'll do the easy ones first. Zip those off, 12 mils. I'm only using my drill for the light in this. For the actual release of the bolts, I use mini extensions. I chose to leave the side covers on. You can take them off if you want. It'll make this a little bit easier. It's not imperative that you do. You can still reach it as long as you've got extensions. The red wire you see there is an aftermarket rearview camera. You won't be seeing that on yours unless you have an aftermarket rearview camera like I do and routed that the same way. Alright, now it's time to get this heavy beast out of there. I did eat my Wheaties this morning, so I'm pretty confident I can move this battery by myself. Just kind of pick the whole thing up and swing it around. At this point too, I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes, so I'm very excited to get this thing inside and get to work on it. Next up, you got these 10 millimeter bolts as well for the main cover. Zip those bad boys off. And don't forget this one on the side and the top. Moving on to the back, another set of four plus one. These four. And that one on the side. Don't forget that one. There's that side cover for those three bolts, tops and side. Once those nuts are released, the whole cover just comes straight up. And there she is, the original nickel metal high drive battery. First I remove the temp sensors, just be mindful of where they are. I'm noticing that the battery is still warm even though the car has been parked for at least 10 hours by now. And it's like 75 degrees at this point. the plastic covers to reveal those pesky little 8 millimeter nuts that are on front and back of the battery. Zip those bad boys off. The good news is you only have to do this once, if you will, because you won't be using the other side of the bus bars anymore.